In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the 100% LHR unlocker that just dropped today by NiceHash. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, 100% LHR unlock. This is the news that came out of NiceHash this morning, just a few hours ago, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So they've gone ahead and announced here, you are, uh, we are very excited to tell you NiceHash Quick Miner is the first mining software to fully unlock the LHR cards. <laughs> So this is insane as we've been talking about LHR for two years now and we've had a boatload of different miners that have come out and I think the best we've gotten so far is like is a T-Rex or LOL miner up to about 85% and we've been able to utilize that within something like HiveOS. But now we're talking about NiceHash unlocking it within their exclusive software. Now you can earn more profits than any other mining software on the market if you are using the LHR graphics cards with NiceHash Quick Miner. Support for NiceHash Miner is coming soon. This also makes it more advantageous than mining direct to a pool, since other software is not capable of unleashing the full capacity of your hardware. Register at NiceHash, and there's a link right there. I'll put a link down below if you guys are curious on going and checking this out on NiceHash and actually utilizing it. So um, let's go ahead and uh, try this out. So I've gone ahead and on my test bench here, and I'll show you guys now, I have set up a Gigabyte 3060 with Windows 10. So let me get set up and ready to go, and we will install the Quick Miner and go through the step by step and take a look and see what we get. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I recommend is making sure you have the latest drivers for NVIDIA. So go over to the website nvidia.com slash downloads. I've gone ahead and selected GeForce RTX 30 series and selected my 3060 from the product list. I hit search. And then it will go ahead and find the latest driver, which is 512.59, and click download and install it. Once that's completed, we are ready to dive in. So on my desktop, I've downloaded the latest NVIDIA driver. We installed it. We're done. We also have the NiceHash Quick Installer. So let's go ahead and run that. And uh, let's take a look at the process. So it's going to prompt us here with UAC. We're going to hit yes. And to give you guys a heads up, this is a brand new version of um, Windows running on here. All right, guys, quick heads up. Make sure you pay attention here. When you're doing this, the version that you want is the RC version, release candidate version. Make sure that you do select that one. Looks like the quick miner took no time at all. There's a brief pause. I wasn't sure what was going on, but look at that. It says it's up and ready to go. So let's see what it does here. We did set it to auto launch. Comes in here, has a terms of use. We're going to hit accept. Uh, some more details, we're gonna hit accept. It's now gonna jump in here and ask for that address. So we're gonna go back over to our browser. We're gonna go back over to our NiceHash account. And where we find this at, is it gonna let me find it? Here we go. Oh my gosh, go away. There we go, right here. Quick miner, we hit copy. Minimize that. This was the address that they provided. We're gonna paste it. There's our address and we're gonna hit okay. And let's see, let's configure the following settings. All right, we're gonna hit okay. And it looks like we have two options, start mining automatically, don't show the screen again. So we'll leave this up and uh, we're gonna go ahead and here, important, you can control nice hash quick miner through context menu. So it looks like it's saying in the bottom right hand corner, you can come down, right click. And then under settings, you can check if you want CPU mining as well. I'm not gonna check that off. I just wanna use GPU for the current moment. And let's hit start mining. So our button has turned uh, red, telling us that we are currently mining. Uh, oh, here we go. The window was minimized and we're off to the races, which is fantastic. All right, and take a look there. Right in here, we have this uh, right under you can see LHR device zero, anti LHR enabled. Ooh, unlocking LHR mode. And now it's going ahead through. So let's go ahead and jump over to our computer, taking a look at the nice hash UI and see exactly what's going on and what the utilization is of our Gigabyte RTX 3060. 
Okay, so it's been a few minutes now. We are over on our editing computer, uh, completely separate here, and uh, we do have up the nice hash web page. So what we're gonna do from here is uh, we're logged in and we're at the dashboard. We're going to come in here. You can see it has one active rig, which is awesome. And we're gonna click the go to rig manager. Once click there, look at this, it's like brand new. We're gonna hit X right there. We'll optimize it another time. And now we have the name of our rig. Uh, I didn't name it, I just kept everything default the way it was, but you can see it's one rig here. So let's go ahead and click the down arrow. And now that we have the down arrow, there's a lot of really good information here. So it shows us our, temp our, our um, GPU right now is at 49C, awesome. Our VRAM temps, 46C, even better. Outside of that, look at our power, 101 watts. Not too bad at all. Keep in mind, this is just the GPU, it's not the entire rig. If you want to know what the entire rig is using, I can actually look over and see right now we're actually at 119 watts total uh, on our voltage meter that we have set up on that thing. Okay, so let's keep taking a look here. So it shows us uh, the CPU and it's disabled. Below that, here you can see here is our GeForce RTX 3060. Uh, and it is run the algorithm it's actually working on, which is the Dagger Hashimoto, which is part of the nice hash algorithm with the auto switching. Uh, you can see it's mining. It says the temps now are at 50C, our VRAMs are at 47. And everybody, take a look at that load. 100%. That is insane. Memory control load is 100%. Fan is at 53%. Power individually now is down to 92%. And it's showing us an efficiency rating now of 0.34. Pretty dang good. Okay, there is one more thing to make sure that you do when you do get in here, which is comes down to optimizing this. So on the far right hand side, you have a drop down box. You can see it says click this button and Nightash will automatically optimize your GPU for even higher profits. So you need to click the drop down box. Defaultly, it's set to light. Make sure that you set it to high in order for it to overclock your GPU to utilize the full LHR unlock. So I'm going to let this run today. We're going to see how this works out. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is something that we're going to have to take a look at and really discuss, is this going to be our solution? Is this going to be our resolution to, especially when Ethereum goes to proof of stake? Is this what we're running day one, hour one, minute one, and just get paid out in Bitcoin? Definitely some things to look at, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will put a link down below directly to NiceHash. Little PSA does give me a little something, something on the side from nice hash pays me out in Bitcoin for you guys using the referral code. If you guys do want to support the hobbyist miner channel, that is one of the easiest ways that cost you guys nothing. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.